Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here, and I am back again with another Creative Cow tutorial. And in our ongoing look at learning Avid's Media Composer and Symphony, we're going to keep the audio train rolling here. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about two more important techniques that I use all of the time. The first one might sound simple, but in practice, if you don't know what you're doing, it can become a big mess. And I'm talking about editing music to time. And in the next part of the lesson, I want to take a look at cutting a quick montage inside of Symphony. And I'm going to show you how you can cut a montage without one single clip of video and just one audio track. Okay, short introduction. Let's just get into Symphony and let's get started. Okay, so let's Command Tab into Avid Symphony. Obviously, an Alt Tab for all of my Windows friends out there. You'll see we are exactly where we left off from the last tutorial. So what I'm going to do is navigate up to the name of the timeline. You'll see it's actually a drop down that I can simply say clear monitor. What we're going to do is right click. We're going to import a track here. And you'll see that I have some elements from Rampant Design Tools. This is Hip Hop Volume 2. Uh, let's just choose this track here. I'm going to want to select the full mix of this. And you'll see it's 218. It's got a pretty good beat to it. This is not too bad to use as an example. So what we'll do is simply say open. Again, you'll see it's a broadcast wave file. So we'll just simply say 2398 and we'll say okay to all. And let's take our audio track. What I'm going to do before I edit it into my timeline is simply hit F3 and I'm going to apply a clip based audio effect to this. We're just going to lower the volume by minus 10. So that when I take the entire clip and press T on the keyboard on both Mac and Windows and then press B again on both Mac and Windows to edit this into my timeline, you'll see that audio is at minus 10. Not too overpowering. And it peaks about where we would want it to peak. Now what I need to do is jump down to the end here to hear what happens at the end. Because in many cases what happens is, is that the audio might trail off or come to an end and you'll have three, four, five seconds of silence before the actual track ends and we want to get rid of all that. So what I'm going to do is come back to about here. We'll hit play. That's probably pretty good right there. And like I said, look at that. That's almost four seconds we're going to be cutting out of this clip. I'm just going to add a simple dissolve here on the end. Simply say add just so that at the end it actually ends. There we go. We just had a little bit of a hiccup there. Much better. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So you'll see right now that we are at 2.14, uh, 2 minutes and 14 seconds. And again, like I said, I think what we're going to do in this case when we're cutting it down, I think I'm going to cut it down to about a minute 30. That's, you know, not too bad of a time. In most cases, you're sort of cutting to, you know, the 15, the 30, the 45, or the 60. And so you'll see that in this case, we've got to cut about 45 seconds out of this piece. Now, this is never an exact science, and sometimes you're going to have to play around with it a bit. You might get it right the first time. You might have to try it a few times to get it right. So let's see what we can do here by just going with the beat. What we're going to do is jump right back here towards the beginning. I'm just going to hit play. I'm going to make sure I have caps lock turned on. You'll see we've got a little bit of a beat going here. Now, I think I want to get in before that little siren comes in. So let's back it up here. Probably right about there. There's our edit point. You can hear sort of that little snap happening. There it is there. Okay. And like I said, we want to cut about 45 seconds out of this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is simply hit plus 45. And I'm going to mark that as an out point. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a bit on this and I'm going to press Control and M on Windows, Command and M on the Mac just so that I can select my zoom range here. And I'm just going to come back and listen to what's going on here. And you can sort of hear exactly where this is going to happen. You'll remember where we started it out at. So what we're going to do is come back and I can hear exactly where this is going. So let's play this. Right here. Boom. Right there. Okay. We're going to come down again and listen to it here. Right there is about where we're going to want to come out. Now this is going to be pretty close for the first shot here. What I'm going to do is press command and forward slash to zoom back. That's obviously control and forward slash for all my Windows friends out there. And all we're going to do is we're going to cut this section out. Now you'll see 4510 is what I'm cutting out here. So let's cut that out. Now you'll remember I cut a little bit more off the end than I needed to, which is great because if I want to extend this down slightly, that's where we're going to do it. So what I'm going to do again, command and M to zoom in here. And let's take a listen to this and see if I got it right the first time. 
that's pretty darn close and what we can even do just to see if you know we can even test this here let's come back a little bit here if I mark that which is on the same beat as our edit right there and I extend this back the edit should sound pretty darn close pretty close you can see obviously a bit of a change and that's why this edit worked much better now one thing I always love doing in this case is you hear a little bit of the click now if I want to smooth that out a bit I always use one of my favorite techniques which is one of those impossible techniques that should not be possible but it actually is and it's a one frame dissolve what I'm gonna do is come back to the setup point I'm simply gonna hit dissolve or the quick transition button and I'm gonna add a dissolve of one frame one frame now in most cases this should be grayed out this should never let me do this but you'll see I can say add and I can actually add a one frame dissolve don't ask me how that's possible but take a listen now much much better and the best part is is that if I zoom back and I come all the way down to the end here take a look at that I'm now at 1 minute 29 seconds and if I wanted to just for kicks what I could do is even just jump down a little bit further jump down a little bit further and you'll see now that we're actually right at 1 minute 30 seconds and if you take a listen here what's gonna happen is when it comes to the end here the trail off happens works perfectly now to know if this really really works and if you're really happy with it what I encourage you to do is I'm gonna play this back I'm not gonna say anything close your eyes and listen for the edit here we go to be perfectly honest I didn't hear it there I don't know if you heard it but you know what that edit I'm really happy with and you can see really you should be able to cut these audio tracks down in no time flat okay so now that we've got our audio cut down, let's create a music montage, you know, something that we do all of the time. Now, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to cut a music montage, and I'm not going to use a frame of video. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to the beginning of the timeline, and we're just going to add in some filler. I think I'm going to add in about three seconds. I'm just going to say plus three. Remember, period on the numeric pad. Mark that as our out point. We're just going to edit this into our timeline using V to splice in, push everything down. Let's actually make sure, let's just undo what we just did. That was a little bit too far because our end point was down here. Let's just try this again here, plus three. There we go. Make sure we actually mark an end point at the start of the timeline. V to splice in. There we go. I just want a little bit of run time before we actually get to the music start. What I'm going to do now is deselect the audio tracks and select the video track. And I'm going to use one of my favorite function keys, which for me is F6 on the keyboard also known as the add edit key what I'm gonna do is come back to the beginning of the timeline I'm simply gonna press play and once the beat starts happening I'm gonna start pressing F6 to create a music montage let me show you what I mean let's hit play here and let's start going you'll see I'm hitting F6 I can do this however I want to do this Still hitting F6. And I'm just going to stop right there. Now I could go through the entire track obviously and do this, but what have I really done? I've gone in, I've added a bunch of add edit marks in here. Well, not really. What I've actually done is I've told MIDI Composer and Symphony what I actually want to have defined as my edits. Now let me show you something really quick here. What we're going to do is I'm going to hit Command and O on the Mac, Control and O for all my Windows friends out there. We're going to open the stock footage bin here. I'm going to open Motocross here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some edits in here very quickly. Nothing too fancy. It's going to come about here. And the best part is, now the first one I obviously wasn't precise because I didn't exactly get the very first frame of audio, but that's okay because we can fix that. But everything else, all I really have to do now is simply hit T on the keyboard to mark that clip. We're just going to pick a bunch of clips at random here and you'll see that I can actually go through and cut a montage pretty darn quick and I'm going to show you here in just a second what this is going to look like and I guarantee that if you use this technique you are going to speed up your editing workflow exponentially because I guarantee if you were to do this technique by doing it one shot at a time you would be here forever 
And you'll see I'll just add a couple more shots in here so you can see how this is going to go. We already added that shot. We haven't added this shot yet. Take it to about there. And we'll add one more here just for kicks. Sure, why not? This one here of our dudes, maybe dudettes here flying through the air. Let's take a look at our montage already. Look at this. How simple was that montage to cut? Now all I really have to do is go back in, add some fancy effects in there. Maybe I want to add some blurs, some glows, things like that. But you know what? The hardest part of actually doing the montage is already done. The only thing that's left to do is the creative and the fun part. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, you have any tutorial requests, you can send them to Kevin P. McAuliffe at gmail.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.